Chloe, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome here if you're new to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm a full-time eBay reseller, which means I earn my living by selling stuff on eBay, mainly second-hand clothing. Um, and yesterday I went out sourcing, bought all of these lovely things, and lots more, loads of shoes, and I'm picking up board games and stuff as well now, ready for Christmas. And I just thought I'd show you guys what I picked up. So, we'll jump right into it. This is the first item that I bought. This is a Frank Lyman asymmetrical top. Can you see that? It's got these beautiful different prints down it. I think it's really, really nice. Um, it's also got, let me see if you can see it, like little studs down the sleeves. It's really pretty. Um, and that was £3.50 for that one. I'm not sure what I'm going to sell that one for yet because I've only just got used to selling that brand. Like I picked it up last week. And the first thing that I picked up hasn't sold yet, so I'm not sure what kind of price I'm going to go for. Maybe 20, 20, 25? Not sure. Um, I found loads of sea salt yesterday. All the same person donating it at a rough guess because it's all the same size and it was all in the same shop. Um, it is a size 10, which is a little bit, it's a little bit small for what I'm like used to selling with sea salt. Sea salt. Sea salt sells better, ugh, tongue twister, in bigger sizes. I find the smaller sizes do tend to hang around a little bit. But anyway, besides the point, I bought this beautiful floral, blue floral dress. It's called the Carnmagus. Carnmagus dress. I don't really know how you pronounce it. That was £7.50. Let me show you the florals. I don't mind paying that much for a sea salt dress because I do tend to sell them for about £30. But again, I'm not too sure on whether the size will affect the price that much. Um, next piece is also a sea salt dress. Beautiful spotty dress. This is more my kind of my kind of print. I love a love a polka dot. It's like a tealy blue colour. It's not quite it's not quite a greeny blue, but and that is a size ten again, six pound fifty. But again, about thirty pound. Maybe a little less on that one, but we'll see. That one is organic cotton. Let's see what the name is of this dress. The Riviera dress. But yeah, I like that one. I think it's really pretty. Again, more sea salt. This is a nice thin knit stripe jumper. Again, this is like my kind of print. I really like this one. Um, what? Again, size 10. Let's have a look and see what it's called. The Blenny jumper. Cotton and wool blend. So you can see that was three seventy five. So that was a really good bargain on that one, actually. Uh, maybe about twenty pounds. I'd say for that one. More sea salt. Obviously, it's all been hung up together. Um, organic cotton, like a grey. It's got little pockets at the front. Little tunic top. This was again. Can you see? Three seventy five. But yeah. That one's quite nice. That one won't go for as much because it's plain, but still, sea salt always sells well for me. Sorry if you can hear banging. The cats are like running around like psychos. <laughs> um, this next one is And Other Stories. It is gorgeous. I don't usually sell jackets very well, but I couldn't leave this one. <laughs> it was just really nice. Uh, five pounds from Scope, and it's got, can you see? It's beautiful, embroidered, it's like gold design. It's absolutely lovely. It's got little pockets on the front. That is a size 40, which, I don't know, is that a size 12 maybe? I'm not sure. Um, and I'll probably put that one up for £30 best offer. Next is white stuff. I've started picking up quite a lot of white stuff lately actually, because I found it starting to sell better for me than it used to. I never used to pick up a lot of white stuff, but I don't know. I'm enjoying picking it up at the minute. I quite like the designs that they do as well. This is, I don't know, is it a tunic or is it a short dress? I mean, I'm really short, but I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe it's a dress actually. It's got like a little shirt, little checked shirt underneath in like a grey colour. Um, that was again from Scope, three seventy five. So yeah, I don't know, maybe twenty pounds for that one. I'll put best offer on everything. 
happy to accept offers. Next one, sea salt. Again, <laughs> this is beautiful. It's like pleated skirt. It's got a gorgeous spot print on it. It's absolutely lovely. Again, size 10, seven pounds. And it's also got, can you see those buttons down the back? They're really nice. I think that's a beautiful piece. Let's see what it's called. The Merthin dress, 100% cotton. Oh, I love that. So that'll probably put on for 35, best offer. We'll see. Again, more sea salt, just a plain stripy top. But again, I just find it's called the Sailor Tea. They sell, even the stripy tops sell really well. It's got a good following. £3.75. And that might be £15, maybe. It's like a green, grey stripe. It's, it's nice, but just a basic piece. Next we have... Oh, it's got a pin on it. Look, I didn't see that. It's got a free pin. Um, Desigual? 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 I have no idea how you pronounce it. Let me see if I can show you that. Can you see that? Um, it's like a... That's a printed t-shirt. It's got little semi-sheer sleeves. It's quite... It's quite crazy, but then I find that stuff always is. And this was... Three pounds from Mind. Um, I don't know with the t-shirts. I don't think I've sold t-shirts from this brand before. I usually sell the dresses, but not the t-shirts. So, I don't know. I need to do my research on that. But it's got the free pin as well. It's quite cute, actually. A little feather. But, yeah. Next one. These. I'm in love with these. I love these, and I am so wish they were my size. These are vintage Jacques Vet. Jacques Vert, Jacques Vert, that beautiful vintage label, can you see that? Um, I picked this up thinking it was a skirt and thinking, oh it's beautiful, it's lovely. Look, look at those wide leg trousers, they are beautiful. Uh, it's got a tie belt around the front, it's got, does it with little buttons, it's just a really small size unfortunately. Like I said, I'd like to keep it but I'd probably only wear them on the house anyway. I'm not that adventurous with patterns and prints. It is a UK 12, but I'd probably say that's more of a 10. But they are gorgeous. And because I love them so much, I'm going to aim really high. <laughs> I'm going to go for £30 on those. I wouldn't usually, but I think they're gorgeous. They're probably not going to sell anytime soon. It'll probably be a next summer thing. Next thing is this crazy printed paisley shirt. Quite nice. Um, this is from, is it Basla? Basla? Can you see that? Sorry, I'm still getting used to where the uh, the lens is on this. It's only my second video. Right, so this is quite a good size actually. What size is this? Sorry, let me just check that for a minute. Does it say? Is it one of those where I'm not going to find a size and I'm going to have to measure it? It's a size 22. I think it's a nice size, especially because it can be worn oversized as well. Like, I could probably fit into that. Not that I would, it's a bit too crazy for me, but I'll probably wear something like that as an oversized. That was £2.25. Not going to make me massive money, but maybe £15. Next is more sea salt. This one is so cute. This one's a size 14. Look at the print on that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I absolutely love this. I don't always pick up sea salt skirts because I find the skirts don't sell that well for me, but this is really nice. This cost me £3. <laughs> they obviously did not know what they had because it's quite an expensive charity shop. I got this from Mind and the one near me is quite expensive, but obviously they didn't know what they had with this one, but it's gorgeous. Shall we see what it's called? I like that about sea salt that you can find out what it's called on the on the inner tag. If you didn't know that about sea salt, check your inner tag. This is can you see it? The Skylark skirt. It's beautiful. Again, I don't know whether it'll sell this time of year, but it's beautiful. Next we have these probably won't sell this time of year. These long tall Sally white linen trousers. I don't pick up long oh, wait. 
I don't pick up long tall Sally that much anymore because it sticks around for me. I can't shift it, it won't move. But I thought staple linen trousers really, aren't they? And I'm sure, especially for tall girls, I mean I'm five foot two, I don't have that issue. Mine's the opposite way around. Um, trousers can be really hard to find that fit nicely. I mean they are for me, being so short, I have to take my trousers up quite a lot. Um, unless I can find petites. But yeah, they were two pounds, maybe an easy 15 when the weather changes again. <laughs> Not this time of year now, I'll probably hang on to those for quite a while. Next up is this Oliver Bonus, Oliver Bonus. Again, no idea how you say it. <laughs> um, just a shift dress, it's really nice. It's got little zip pockets on the side. It's got this uh, almost like a chevron print blue and white it was have a look how much was it 550 um probably put that on for 22 to 25 except best offers on it as well it's a size 10 um but it does look like it fit a 12 as well to be fair because of the shape of it then we've got a Bowden linen skirt it's like a khaki colour the colour's not picking up too well on here I am sorry um, it's got these nice buttoned pockets and a nice tie belt. It's about midi lengths. Again, I know you can't see it on me. Um, for me, it's almost a maxi skirt, so I'd say it's probably a midi length. It feels like linen. Let's have a look. Yeah, 100% linen. So again, maybe not this time of year, but if I get it up quick enough, maybe because of the colour. The colour is quite autumnal, but we'll see. I'll get it up. I'm going to get aim to list all these today. Because I finally have a kid free day. The kids are back at school. So I might list these today. Next is this manta ray. Little v-neck A-line dress. You can't see that at all, can you? There you go, look. It's got a really nice little... Almost like a floral print. Like little bubble flowers. But yeah, that's really nice. That'll probably be like about a £15 dress. Maybe a bit more. But that was £3, so bread and butter. Nearly at the end. Next, we've got this monsoon jumper dress. Looks black, but it is navy blue. The lighting is really bad. I'm sorry. Um, it's got these buttons all the way down the sleeve, and it's got like a really wide bat wing sleeve. It's also it is ribbed, but you can't see it again. I'm sorry, the lighting's quite dark. I should set my lights up next time for this. Um, brand new tags as well, which is great. It was. Knocked down to £18 though, so I'll have to remove that tag. This is a size large, and it was £6.50. So, I thought that was great for this time of year. Jumpers and jumper dresses always sell well as soon as the weather changes. Oh. Next we have, I did buy these for me, but because I'm so small, they look really stupid on me. Um, these are really wide leg like almost cropped ankle biter trousers but because i'm so short they just look like my trousers are too short on me like they just look really silly these are from thought which sells quite well for me actually let me show you the show you the label um yeah these were two pounds so i thought i'll probably get 15 maybe for them but yeah like i said they were for me and they just didn't work out next is this bieber dress quite a nice like a faux wrap at the front uh black and white almost like a an animal print but like a thick chunky large animal print if that makes sense bieber bieber sells quite well for me actually it's only a size eight though so that might affect it a bit but it was three pounds so it's quite a nice back to work dress i think but i like that maybe 20 maybe maybe a bit less then we have this beautiful River Island dress that I wish fit me, but it's just a little too tight. It's got this ruffle at the bottom, like a hanky hen. Gorgeous flowers on it. And it also has, which I really like about it, a tie at the back of the neck. It's not done up at the minute, I probably should have done that up to show you better. But yeah, little tie at the back of the neck. I think it's gorgeous. It's also brand new with its tag. 
and it was actually even better knocked down in the sale to three pounds so that's a size 14 it's beautiful good it doesn't fit good and then the last one this i love this it needs some work all these little tassels at the bottom they're all a bit if you can see they're all a little bit dishevelled they need a little bit of attention but this is so nice this is from zara i don't pick up all zara but i do pick up their nicer pieces because i think it has quite a following and instead of a skirt look at those cute little shorts they are so but yeah, as you can see it needs can you see that it needs some attention um they are small but i couldn't leave it behind what are they they're a size extra small it's a jacket you watch the jacket be a different size now i didn't even check no the jacket's an extra small as well so it's probably going to sit around for a while but the set cost me three pounds so i'm not too bothered i'll probably put that off for 30 pound if it cleans up nicely if i can trim all the edges off and make it nice and neat put it on for 30 pounds and like i said again best offer on everything so yeah that's it i did buy quite a few shoes and board games as well but i might do that in a separate video because i really need to go and get this listed <laughs> i need to go and get it sorted get it photographed get it listed get it on because there's some summery pieces there that i might just catch the end of summer if i get them on now but probably unlikely but yeah thanks for watching my whole video i hope it wasn't too bad sorry about the lighting i know it's quite dark next time i'll have to bring my lights down and put my lights up but yeah thanks for watching have a good day and i'll see you in my next video bye